All right, guys, uh, the next step for me now that I've got the transmission out, I got it up on a stand, I'm going to uh, go ahead and drain all the fluids out of it and then start taking sections apart and putting new seals in. There's nothing stinkier than an old gear loop. Wow, look at that. I hate to dig that stuff out of there, but man, that's a lot of metal shavings. It looks like a tail for a second. Definitely got some metal shavings in there. But you know, after 47 years, not that bad. It's a little, a little funky. Let's see what we get out of there. Pull the side one off and that's nah, pretty, pretty funky. A little concerning guys. I oh, don't know, we'll see here in a little bit if we can see these gears. All right, man. It's beginning to feel like the, uh, the dang uh, engine part about how far do you take it? Get all this stuff out of here right now. Getting all the goopity doo cleared out of there. Just some dust in there. No big chunks of gears or nothing. Everything looks to be cool. Trying to figure out if I want to push this bad boy out of here. Um, that way I could do this seal. I think I do because I don't want any leaks. I'm a little apprehensive, but I was apprehensive when I took this part out too. So we'll see. All right, guys, I found this. I got that part off. Turns out I just put a two by six in there. Undo the castle nut and one. Um, one C clip on the drive shaft, and then uh, then you unscrew the drive shaft and slide out back the gear, and that whole thing will pop off. Kind of strange. There's not a gear here, or not a gasket. I'm not really sure why. And then uh, then I got in there and I saw this one little bad boy gear. Maybe why the whole thing was parked in the first place. Um, I'm gonna see. I think it's reverse. I'm not really sure, but I'll check it out. At this point, guys, um, in the edit, I didn't really announce what I did, but I went to a um, Volkswagen um, repair place in Longview, Texas called Oak Hill Automotive. Um, highly recommend it. Tons of parts. So I just filmed a little bit while I was in the store, uh, while I was waiting for the guy to uh, get my block out and, and bring it up to me. So that's that's what this, this footage is that you're seeing. Alright guys, about ready to put the, uh, start putting the transmission back together. Uh, I've got the block back and it is decked. So hopefully it will seal good. They said everything else was good. The block wasn't twisted. Alright, that's what a uh, gear that's not screwed up looks like. Uh, we're going to see if we can get this transmission, that right there, uh, back together today. Got the block back been decked 
They said it didn't need to be lined board. It had, it's 20 thousandths over, so it's been built before. And we're just gonna see how this goes. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna film like every little step and stuff. One thing, I really don't think I'm really suited to do instructional videos. Another thing is, is that I really need to concentrate on this because that um, I've never done it before. Maybe in the future, if I do it again, I'll make a more you know intense video on it, uh, kind of showing everything. But we're, we're good, man. I'm uh, hanging out in the garage, got everything ready to rock and roll. Gonna watch some Star Wars while I'm building the transmission. We're good. So we'll check in later and let you know how it goes. Got the, the new seals down in there to put on. And I'm putting the new uh, transmission mounts on there. And I uh, wasn't sure that the little, mush, or little mustache bar that goes underneath there, if it needed to go on before I totally tighten these mounts down. So I went ahead and started cleaning it up. Show it to you. Yeah, you need it. I've got it all cleaned up here. I'm uh, letting it kind of dry for a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, hit it with some etching primer and then shoot it with a fresh coat of paint. So that's where I'm at right now. What's going on, guys? Uh, let's kind of show you the progress I've made so far. Um, I've got I've got the first gear set in there. Um, let me show you. Okay, I've got them in there right now, and um, and I've just uh, let it sit for a few minutes because I've got to get the I've got the the bolts soaking. They were filthy, and so I wanted to clean them with a parts cleaner. Uh, got a new new seal on this side. Uh, the mount has been all cleaned up, painted, it's got uh, all new uh, mounts on it. And also down in there, uh, there's a, a brand new uh, drive shaft seal. So uh, yeah, I've just been, I've got this, uh, the differential down here right now, just soaking it cleaner and rinsing it all out. And uh, so we cleaning up all of the uh, little bolts for the axle bolts. And um, here. So I, uh, you know, I'm making some progress here. I, I do believe I thought I'll have the transmission kind of buttoned up stuff um, today. I've also been uh, painting things over here as I'm going. The shoot clutch, uh, the little little things that go onto the axles underneath. Uh, just trying to get everything clean. All right, guys, there it is. Many many hours later, it was put back together. All new seals. You need to do a deep clean on it. Oh, it's got a new uh, reverse uh, gear in it. And so I uh, just need I just need to get the masking tape out and um, we're gonna get it in um, etching primer tonight and then probably shoot it for some paint tomorrow. And while I'm letting that dry, I'll redo the axles. So we're getting there guys, just um, one step at a time. The etching primer is drying. And I am getting tired, but I want to at least get one coat, a finished coat on there tonight where it can just cure all night long. But I gotta let this sit for a while. But yeah, man, it's coming along. Looks a lot better than it uh, did when I started for damn sure. And it won't be leaking, hopefully. All right, guys, there it is. Sealed, new reverse, ready to get filled up. Um, tomorrow, I'll knock the axles out. But it looks pretty sweet. I went with the, uh, the hammered, um, it's a hammered steel or something like that, with silver metallic, um, just because the, the cases are not very smooth. I tried to smooth out as much as I could on the ribs and stuff, I and mean, then probably cleaned them up a lot, but um, it's just, um, it's a damn, uh, it's a mess. These cases aren't pretty. You almost gotta call through the cases to find a really nice one to trick out. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, for uh, 12 hours, I uh, finished cleaning it up, got it all assembled, resealed, put in a new reverse gear. Um, first time I've ever done this in my life. I'm pretty excited that um, it all went together. We'll see how it goes when it goes in the car. <laughs> it may just be really pretty, <laughs> who knows? But anyway, guys, uh, I guess I'm gonna call it an evening and kind of end this video here and I'll pick up next time with you guys on the axles. So uh, go work on your bus, go work on your bug. But go work on your Volkswagen. Peace out, guys.